Hey everybody, Jeff with Covet the Camper here. Just uh, working on the bikes and getting everything loaded up for our next trip. We're getting ready to head out to uh, Bend and uh, got the bikes loaded and thought I'd do a quick video on all the uh, mods that I've done to the truck and the truck camper to make things a little bit more comfortable for us, more reliable, a little more convenient. Um, and uh, I was loading the bikes up on the bike rack and realized that uh, the bikes were too high and they were in the view out the front blocking the uh, windshield. So the first, uh, I guess the first place that I'll start is on the bike rack and the uh, front hitch. So uh, on the front hitch, I'll flip the camera around here, um, I've got the Bodiac front hitch and um, the Yakima three bike bike rack and the problem with the Yakima bike rack was it uh, you know it's obviously set up for uh, a rear hitch and on this one it sat way too high uh, and was blocking my view so first thing I did was I cut 12 inches off of the of the bottom of the rack here and re-drilled the holes uh, for the tilt. So now I have perfect view out the front without the bikes being in the way. That is uh, really nice. Don't have to worry about getting a ticket going down the road. The uh, Bodiac front hitch uh, holds about, it's rated at 500 pounds. So, well, it's rated a lot more than what the bikes are, and um, I like the I like that hitch. I'm not sure if they're making those anymore, but uh, it was about I think it was about a $300 uh, front hitch, and it uses the existing uh, tow hook mounting points, which was really nice. I didn't have to do any modifications to my fog lights. Um, I'll move on to uh, the other outside modification that I did and that's my solar panel that's my Renogy suitcase solar panel and um, I've got a couple of different uh, ways to connect it I can connect it with uh, alligator clips but I've also upgraded uh, a hard connection with these Anderson connectors which is really nice they just pop in and lock um, I just you know pop this wire out of the uh, battery compartment and uh, it connects right up to it that's a hundred watt panel uh, which is uh, you know for a truck camper that does pretty does pretty good at keeping the batteries charged I've also got a climb up on the roof here if I can do this one-handed um, a hundred watt Renogy panel on the roof so wow it needs to be cleaned so that um, that puts another hundred watts on there, and between those two, I've got more than enough to keep the batteries charged. We have um, a three thousand watt inverter. We can run, you know, things like the microwave, uh, all the lights, obviously stereo, all the receptacles. Uh, with the inverter I've got it hooked up if you look at my uh, boondocking power video uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the uh, description but I'll also put a link up here uh, for that video and how I've got it wired in uh, to the right now I'm hooked up to shore power but I've got a, a, a plug run from my inverter into my shore power compartment where I can hook up my shore power plug and that powers all of the outlets uh, in the RV, which is really great. So I can run my microwave at short bursts uh, off of the battery power, off of the inverter. So another uh, really nice mod that I've done uh, on the truck would be these frame mount, these um, frame mount tie downs from Torque Lift. Looking right into the sun, but uh, frame mount torque lift 
and then the uh, fast gun tie downs that's a better shot they uh, are really nice to have super secure and very quick really really fast when you're loading the camper and uh, everything's just kind of set to the right length and you just uh, put them into the eyelets and and crank down on the handle crank down on this uh, see if I can get this to work here crank down on this handle and uh, it, it tightens up onto the frame mount so that's really cool I really love those uh, another upgrade I've done uh, I did another video on this also uh, was the mirror upgrade so uh, when I did the mirror upgrade basically I did it for this lower mirror to have a larger lower mirror and that's just so I can see the back wheels uh, a little bit better love that mod and that was a pretty inexpensive mod it was gosh I, I like to think it was you know looked like a couple hundred dollar mod total um, go ahead and go into the camper here got my bunk beds out here because uh, we cleaned the inside of the camper but I'll show you that mod actually I've got a video on that one also um, oh well while I'm out here got the uh, the rear deck so I've got a video on that one love this rear deck we did this out of a or I did this out of a motorcycle ramp it was a tri-fold uh, motorcycle ramp and uh, we love absolutely love having the rear deck it's great for the dogs to lay on um, we hang out and drink our coffee in the morning on this deck and it's just nice to have a clean area to go out onto outside of the RV and um, you know hang out and drink your coffee or you know you can even you know, put a little table out here and have dinner or whatever but we just kind of hang out on here and and uh, you know have a little after dinner drink or drink our coffee in the morning so I've got the uh, the dinette the camper set up in dinette uh, right now but uh, the the way I did the bunk bed set up was I added these bolsters these bracings uh, and these that uh, mount to the window or to the uh, slide out wall uh, right like that and um, the bunk beds in two pieces as you'll see in the video if you want to take a look at that video I'll put a link there as well but the uh, bunk bed slides in in two parts so one part slides onto the back part uh, on the slide out portion and then the other side is is kind of out here and that gives it actually gives about uh, 22 inches of clearance between the lower bunk and the uh, upper bunk and it's full it's a uh, full size so um, the the width of the dinette and the depth of the dinette I think it's 72 by 48 and um, gives the kids plenty of room I have two kids and um, they can't share the lower the dinette bunk anymore so that's really nice to have and then I I have the a little a little guard here to put on the uh, bunk bed rail and then the ladder for the bunk bed I store on the inside of the uh, the bathroom door just uh, on the uh, towel rack and then it's just bungeed down um, with a little bungee here a little small bungee cord the uh, inverter setup of course and uh, the meter for the uh, solar is here that gives you a readout of your battery power and um, I had three batteries, three 12 volt batteries wired up, and now I've just got the two. Um, and uh, that seems to work pretty good for us. We don't have any, any issues with uh, not having enough power. Here's another really cool mod was these uh, Everbright uh, solar patio lights with motion detection. And um, at nighttime they turn on, but they're in low mode. And then if they detect motion, they'll turn on high mode, and it illuminates the steps really well. 
you can get those at Home Depot or Amazon for like 10 or 12 bucks and um, they're they're fantastic uh, if you want to look at my inverter setup I've got a, a that in that uh, boondocking video you can uh, take a look at that video and uh, I just made a video on my uh, water tank clean out and uh, keeping the fresh water tank clean is so easy now with that clean out I can uh, I can open up that deck lid and clean out sanitize the inside of the tank it's really easy so take a look at that video oh the uh, portable fire pit which is really nice to have especially this time of year when you can't have campfires and um, uh, a few other uh, little odds and ends that I've done uh, like the stove sparker uh, upgraded that uh, from the, the that really loud push um, sparker to the uh, electronic sparker which is very cool I'll just whip up here real quick and show you but that was an easy install and I think it was less than $20 so the uh, stove sparker here is just a battery operated uh, sparker I took out the that push button one that's really loud and makes that really loud clunk oh one other thing that we've done are uh, these um, mini blinds so you can pull them up from the bottom or lower them from the top we did those uh, all the way around on the dinette and uh, also in this uh, kitchen window which is um, we really love those the this little towel rack which is cool just mounted it to the wall and it's a nice place to put your uh, you know hang your towels up and, and things like that um, in the in the shower did the, uh, the upgraded shower head where um, you get a lot you know triple the, the water pressure without using any more water it actually um, forces air uh, through the shower head and, and creates more pressure without using more water. I almost forgot the uh, airlift airbag system. The airlift load lifter 5000 and uh, before that I had the uh, torque lift the um, torque lift spring helpers there. Help balance the load out a little bit, but the uh, the airbags are really great. I put the uh, the nozzles separate on each side of the bumper so I can so I can uh, adjust each side. But I really like that mod as well. There's a few things that we wanted to have and really enjoy having those conveniences. We're gonna get uh, loaded up and enjoy a little vacation. See you on the next one later.